This is Boston Talk A576 coming at you. Um, I want to discuss the uh, Andre Ward retirement. Andre Ward announced he retired from boxing yesterday. Um, Andre Ward, in my opinion, Andre Ward had a great career, man. It, it was like one of those compact careers to where he didn't fight a lot of fights. It's kind of like that, kind of like the Sugar Ray Leonard Leonard uh, effect. Sugar Ray Leonard had a lot of he was he had a compact career. He had a lot of great fights, but it was like in a short period of time. And Andre Ward basically did the same. Andre Ward, they both, you know, um, after the uh, Hearns fight, Sheree Leonard had a detached retina, so, you know, it, 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 it robbed him of some years of fighting. And Andre Ward, you know, he had knee problems, and I think I think he had shoulder surgery too. So it took out, you know, then he had uh, problems with his promotion, so it took out some of his uh, chunks of his career. And, you know, it, it happens like that sometimes, but... He was able in that short period of time, he was able to accomplish what a lot of guys either don't get accomplished or accomplish in a longer span of period of time. So, uh, you know, he, uh, you know, he's an Olympic gold medalist. He's, he's the last, I think he's the last American Olympic gold medalist since what David Reed. I think David Reed was the last Olympic gold medalist for America. And, you know, uh, he brought some prominence back to America. We, you know, every, you know, we've been struggling in the Olympics in boxing for a little while now over the last, what, decade or so. We've been struggling in the Olympics. Um, Shakur Stevenson did win silver, you know, Deontay Wilder won bronze, but, um, you know, he won gold, man. So, and, you know, he started off his career, I believe he started his career off at 160 and then, you know, moved to 168. He uh, entered it, entered the uh, 160 pound, uh, 168 pound, um, you know, tournament, and won the tournament. He dominated the tournament. You know, he beat fighters like Arthur Abraham. You know, what I'm saying he beat uh, Alan Green, Mikael Kessler, you know, Edison Miranda. You know, he beat uh, Carl Froch. Uh, then after the super, after the super six, you know, uh, he beat Chad Dawson. Chad Dawson did call him out. Which I give Chad Dawson a lot of a lot of credit. He called him out and um said I'll fight you at 168. He did it. He knocked Chad Dawson out. You know uh, he beat Edwin Rodriguez, a nice little up and coming fighter. You know at the time, Sullivan, Sullivan Barrera. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he beat Kovalev. They, uh, officially, he beat him twice. You know that first fight, I thought Kovalev edged it, but he came out and he came the second fight and he knocked Kovalev out. You know some controversy about him hitting him low. You can argue that he hit him low a couple times, man. He did, in my opinion, he did hit him low a couple times. But you know, he was a true champion and came back and um and fought uh you know Kovalev, you know the 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 crusher twice and you know and kind of bested him. So um I think Andre Ward had a great career, man. Um I thought a couple years ago physically it was it was about time for Andre Ward to retire. Really last year I thought. Even before the Kovalev first fight, I, he physically he didn't look he didn't look the same. And when you start getting your knee drained and all this crap, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shoulder problems, and then now you got to go through training. See, training camp is the the hardest, most grueling part of actual boxing because that's where you give a lot of your physical and your mental, you know, uh, self is in training camp. You know, a lot of guys got eight week camps. So you you wake it up every morning early, running, going to the gym, doing that workout, probably later on after that sparring and you just you just do a lot of grueling stuff. He talked about that too. He talked about the training camp. And when a fighter start talking about he don't want to show up for training camp, it's time to go. Because in boxing you can get hurt. It's time to go. You don't want to go in a training camp and, and do fifty percent. No. It's time to hang it up. Don't come back, Andre Ward. You know, there's a couple of fights that I, I, I would like to see Andre Ward uh, fight. He could have been undisputed in both divisions. He could have been undisputed at 168 and 175. If he would have fought Lucian Butte after the Super 6, he would have been undisputed at 168. If he would have fought Andana Stevenson, you know what I'm saying, he would have been un, he would have been undisputed at uh, 175. But he had, I believe, three belts at 168, and he had three belts at uh, 175. So, hey... To me, you know, he goes down as, as one of the best 168, 170-pound fighters, you know, of all times. One of the best. I ain't saying he's the best. Uh, you can argue 168, he's, he may have a, ha, had a better career than Joe Calzaghe because Joe Calzaghe did, un, did uh, have more wins 
uh, when he retired. I think Joe Calzaki retired with 48 wins, right? if I'm not mistaken, 45 or 46, something like that. And but you know what I'm saying? Joe Calzaki biggest names on his record was 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 uh, B Hop and um and um Roy Jones was two crazy legends. So you can argue who was the best at 168. Uh, I don't know. I I probably slightly still give it to Joe Calzaki. Now, if they would have fought in the ring, I probably would have picked War because Joe Calzaki had trouble with an old Bernard Hopkins, in my opinion, who I thought Bernard Hopkins, I thought Bernard Hopkins won the fight. I thought Bernard Hopkins edged the fight out by a couple of rounds. And just, 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 just imagine a more, a little bit more athletic, you know, uh, Bernard Hopkins, and that would have been Roy John. I mean, I, and that would, and that would have been uh, Andre Ward. I thought, I, I, I believe Andre Ward would have won that fight. But you know, we can all speculate who's gonna win the fight. But, you know, salute Andre Ward, man. Don't come back because you already you already said that physically the training camps was just too much. Just don't come back. Stay retired. You know, uh, eat up the fruits of your labor. He's up there. To me, I put him up there with a – I put him up there with a he, – see, he didn't have a popularity of a Sugar Ray Leonard in, in them, but I put him up there as his career. For his career, I put him up there. I put him on that level. I put him on that level as Sugar Ray Leonard. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, salute Andre Ward, man. I guess he's going to be a commentator for HBO or whatever. So, this is, let me know what you think about his retirement. This is Bontar 8576. I'm out.